what I wanna do Then I'ma get a business too never got a sweat that Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel or welcome for those who are new. My name is Taylor or for those who may not know, today we're going to try poly gel on myself for the very first time. So right now I'm just prepping my nails, I'm pushing my cuticles back and I'm just going to speed through this portion. Next I'm going to go ahead and use a new drill bit of mine, it's a small one, well I got it off of Amazon of course girl. But you could see the difference in size compared to this, the standard one. I saw this type of drill bit on Instagram, so I decided to give it a try. And I really do like how this drill bit works. I will link it in the description box below. I like that it's really small because it helps you to get into those little small spaces and to go around the cuticle. It's a really good bit. So next, I'm going to go ahead and size my tips. And put them on with some KDS glue. Now I have all my tips on and I'm gonna go ahead and cut these tips down just a little bit. And as you can see, I just cut my thumb down just a tad bit shorter so it'll be easier to work with. So I'm using that same um, sanding bin bit to file off the number because I can still see the number on some of the nails and then I'm just gonna blend the tips in with my natural nail beds I'm going in with my young nails protein bond and I did not use a dehydrator for this set I have just recently stopped using dehydrator and I feel like it's making my sets last a lot longer. So I probably won't be going back to using a dehydrator. I'm just going over these nails with a base coat um, because that's what the instructions said on the poly gel kit. If you guys didn't see me review um, the, well, I didn't really, I don't, I don't know if I could call that an official poly gel kit review but the very last video I posted was kind of a review on a poly gel kit that I just purchased from Amazon I will link it in the description below of this video also but it came with 48 colors and it was only $45 so woohoo okay and as you can see this blue is beautiful blue is my favorite color so I had to use blue now I'm just using some alcohol to try to um, smooth this poly gel all around um, this nail. So I struggled a little bit with doing this the very first time, but I feel like as I continued to go, um, continue to move on to the rest of the nails, I feel like I got a lot faster at doing it. So. I started off by using the um, poly gel brush that I bought. Um, it's from McCart. And I noticed that the brush is a bit stiffer, so it's really easy to move the poly gel around. But it's really small, and you guys know that I do really long nails. So I did go ahead and switch over to my standard acrylic brush, um, the Kalinsky. I think this, again, it's like a number. 12 or 14 something like that or four no probably like a 14 or 16 I don't know but I switched to that halfway through because it just allows me to be able to smooth the poly gel down the nail much faster um another thing that helped me when I was working with this poly gel was to just think of it as my standard acrylic powder and so i had to make sure that i was wiping my brush off in between working with the poly gel the same way i would with acrylic because if you don't wipe the brush off it will get stuck on there and that's annoying so i try to remember to go ahead and continue to wipe my brush off just like i would normally do 
this product is much much easier in my opinion to work with than acrylic if you are a beginner that's um i tried to do a little press on nail my very first time was in the last video that i posted and i really enjoyed using it because it doesn't move like i've gotten so used to doing acrylic nails i've probably been doing acrylic nails for about maybe three years now maybe four but um yeah i think it was like four years probably but when i started working with acrylic acrylic took me like 10 hours to do in the beginning <laughs> and that's pretty ridiculous um but of course everything gets better with time so i was able to pick up on it and can, the more i practiced the faster i got with working with the acrylic but as you can see like every time i place the poly gel on my nails like it doesn't move until you move it and that's one thing that i could really appreciate about this product i was really sleeping on poly gel girl i i didn't even think that i was going to ever try it because I had already worked so hard getting good at acrylic. <laughs> so I didn't really want to switch to anything that was foreign to me. But I'm happy I did because a couple positives, like a lot of positives that I could say about switching over to poly gel. Now, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm going to permanently stick with poly gel, but I will be using both is what I mean. So one of the pros okay let's say pros i said positives but pros to using poly gel one you don't have to um buy monomer that's a good one like i really like that you can just use alcohol like everybody has alcohol um another pro is there's really no smell like there's really no smell to the poly gel at all as opposed to working with the acrylic powder with the monomer um another thing that i could say of course is that it does not move so it's much easier to work with it doesn't move until you move the product and it's really inexpensive in compared in comparison to um working with acrylic because like i said i got this whole kit 48 colors for 45 dollars now the clear and the nude poly gels that you see me using are from mccart and I bought them off of Amazon separately from the kit. But either way, it's cheaper than buying acrylic powder from a brand or a line or anything. It's much, much cheaper. The kit did come with a clear poly gel. But in my very last video, I went ahead and compared McCart's clear to the clear that came in the kit. And I realized that the McCart clear was a bit more clear than the clear that came with it. So I opted to use that one instead. Um, so as you can see, I also purchased um, a set of glitters. I got them from Shein or Sheen. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to say that. Correct me in the comments or let me know how it's supposed to be said because I'm really tripping off that. Like I don't, I never know if I'm saying it right. But I got some glitters and I completely made a mess with them glitters because they're not individual containers. Like you literally have to take one off at a time because the top is stuck to the the next one. I, hopefully that makes sense. But anyways, the glitter, the glitter is so cute, but they could have definitely made them separate containers. The whole thing is stuck to itself and the, you can only take off the bottom of the glitter. Anyways, I just used that on my pinky and i used one of the glitters that came in the poly gel kit um underneath the glitter just to fill in any gaps now on this middle finger i just put a thin layer of poly gel so i, I wanted a thin layer because i was gonna put more glitter on top and then encapsulate it so I just took some of the clear off of this nail and just continued to bring what I had on the nail the rest of the way down. And when I was happy with how that looked, I went ahead and started sticking my glitter on there. I like that the McCart Poly Gel brush has a little spatula on it because it helps you to be able to get rid of any excess um, 
poly gel off the tip of the nail or sometimes you see me also using my um, acrylic brush and just um, wiping it with the side of my brush but right here I started getting real fancy I thought this was a cute little idea to just fill in the gaps of the marble that I created with the glitter so it matched the pinkies and um, I decided to go with all four rows and I thought that was really cute. So here I'm going ahead and encapsulating it with the clear again. And I'm just using my McCart brush to smush it down because for some reason the clear, the clear poly gel is um, from McCart is really thick. Like it's really sticky and thick um, compared to the poly gels from this kit. Um, the clear that came with the kit is really loose and it moves really easily just like the rest of the colors. But again, I didn't want to use that clear because it wasn't as clear. And I'm, I'm real, I like, I really like a, a, a nice clear. I don't want any fogginess because I felt like it would maybe mess up the design a little bit. I'm not exactly sure if it would have. So, but maybe I'll just try it in another video. I was just a little nervous, so I didn't want to use it. But I will try it maybe on my other hand. So this video is going to have two parts. This is going to be me um, doing my, um, working with my dominant hand. And then the next part, I'm going to try to see if it will be easier or harder to work with. Um, using my non-dominant hand so I will be trying that um, in the very next video if you want to see that um, currently sometimes I do like a little hack where I'll do my acrylic on the tips and then I'll stick the tips to my um, to my hand so that I won't have to do much work with my non-dominant hand um but this time I'm going to just go ahead and put the tips on as normal and try to do the same thing that I'm doing with these nails with my non-dominant hand and just try to apply the poly gel as you would a regular full set because I don't want to cheat I don't want to do any cheating I want to see if this is going to be easy or not. Um, so fingers crossed for me. Because um, again this would be my first time trying to work with poly gel with my non-dominant hand. Hopefully it comes out nicely. I don't even know what I'm going to do on my other hand just yet. But I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be doing the same design again. <laughs> I'm going to do another design on my other hand. And probably use some different colors from the kit so stay tuned if you want to see that right now I'm just apologies for this blurry footage but my camera was going in and out of focus um, when trying to do my thumb so just just imagine that it's not um, that is it's fully focused okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and encapsulate this um, ombre nail I just used more glitter on this finger and so I'm using the McCart brush to push the the poly gel up into the cuticle area and then I just move on and um, with my um, acrylic brush to bring the rest of the product down the nail that really worked for me I also just purchased a Kalinsky poly gel brush so I'm gonna try that um, when I do my other hand, um, I got it off of Amazon as well, but I did not use that in this video because it wasn't here yet, but I will definitely show you what it looks like in the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and stop talking. You can just go ahead and watch the shaping portion. I just kind of skipped through this part because it wasn't, I have other shaping tutorials on my channel, but yeah, you can go ahead and watch it. I'll be right back.
I just wanted to come back in really quick and let you know how the shaping process went. So I shape my nails with um, for these um, the same way I would shape them normally. But I also noticed that poly gel is way softer than acrylic. It's, it's way easier to file. So I just wanted to let you guys know that as well. Um, so you don't have to go as hard when it comes to shaping poly gel nails. Um, I'm just going ahead and using my 5-in-1 um, bit to seal the cuticle area. I use this bit in every video. This is my favorite bit for sealing the cuticles. And I did go ahead and buff these nails smooth. And I washed my hands. For the designs in this set, I didn't do any hand-painted nail art because... I pretty much already did a design with the poly gel so I went ahead and top coated these nails and I applied some gems and jewels I also applied a little nail dangle so I'm just gonna let you go ahead and watch the design portion overall I give working with a poly gel um, I give working with poly gel maybe a 9 out of 10 only because it takes some getting used to if you're new to it it is really easy to maneuver but because it's so sticky and it has such a thick consistency um in my opinion just starting out it I got faster with working with it as I went along, but it still took me longer than I thought to complete this set. This set probably took me about four to five hours to complete only because, well, probably because I was, you know, this is my first time actually doing um, a set on myself with it. I did um, use this poly gel um, on one of my clients. I used um, one of the nude colors from McCart. And I'll show you a picture of how those nails came out. The only reason I went ahead and used um, the poly gel on a client is because she wanted some almond shaped nails. And that's not something that I usually do. And I just kind of wanted to see if I would be able to do a full set with it on someone else. Plus, she's been a client of mine for maybe like two years now or at least a year and a half. And she really trusted me to do it. And she said she loved how they came out. So I was really happy about that. Um, so overall, again, I will be probably trying to continue to practice um working with poly gel as well and just adding that on to um something that i show on this channel i do want to practice getting better and faster at working with this um poly gel um i guess well oh i should probably also tell you how long it took me to do her nails um, those almond shaped nails, it probably only took me around three hours, which is a little bit longer than it usually would take me. Usually for a standard set, it probably only takes about two hours, but working with the poly gel for the first time is, um, it did take a bit longer, took maybe an extra hour, but it still wasn't that bad in comparison to how long it took me to do these super long nails on myself. But I did really like the outcome. I really enjoy using the colors because they're so vibrant. They're so vibrant and so beautiful. Um, and I definitely want to go ahead and try more of the colors in this set because I swatched them in the last video and there's so many of them and they're just so cute. I had to. Now on this finger right here that I'm doing right now, I it was a bit much. I didn't even really, I didn't even know what I wanted to do. So. I was putting designs on, taking designs off, and then my camera cut off on me. But you're going to see how it came out in the end. But that's pretty much it for today's video. 
make sure you like comment and subscribe especially if you want to see more um, poly gel nail content let me know in the comments how you guys like this set and if you would actually ever try working with poly gel or if you already currently use poly gel and i would appreciate if you could drop some tips if you've already been working with poly gel because i am new to it but that's all that's about it um drop a blue heart if you really like these nails this is how they look i really like the um the white and pink crosses i think that was so cute this little dangly thing it just kept moving all around but I like that I added it. Well, that's all for now, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. You could bet that never got a sweat. That you could bet that never got a sweat. That you could bet.